Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're heading to the city of Osaka and we're going to be shooting with this. This is the 85mm f1.4 Mark II from Samyang. Now, if you've never shot street photography with an 85mm, I highly suggest it, especially f1.4. It's crispy, it's sharp, it's amazing. We're going to head into the city and go and take some shots. I will say it does get a little bit rainy later on, so stick around to see that. Subscribe, notification bell, presets in the description. Let's go. Okay, so like I just said, we are out in Osaka. We've got the 85 f1.4 on and it's going to be street photography heaven um we're talking neon lights we're talking proper street proper culture it's going to be a it's going to be a good evening i think uh, i've got two umbrellas in front of me i mean this is going to be a common theme but i just kind of need to get my eye in and, and just start, start taking some shots so i'm going to come over to the left here i think just Okay, yeah, good starting point, not a bad starting point. Um, so, uh, presets are down in the description if you want to go and buy them. Uh, £10 for just the presets, or £15 for the creator bundle, which you get a ton of stuff with at the same time. We're going to be searching for reflections, because it has just rained. For example, this down here, nice simplistic shot, but looks pretty sick. Anyway, because of the billboards and the colours. Come away from the crowd a little bit, because I'm thinking maybe I can kind of get somebody in the foreground with like the lights behind them possibly ideally i think i want somebody with a an umbrella because i think it'll look uh, better but it has stopped raining there is a photographer here maybe i can uh... ah he moved as i said that he kind of moved i don't know if he heard me but maybe i can get some people just framed with the the lights behind them possibly i'll come here lights behind these two and like a silhouette We'll go landscape. And I think as it gets darker, because it is kind of still blue hour dusk, uh, it'll be, uh, we'll get some better vibes, we'll get some better shots, and who knows, maybe we'll get some portrait shots of some people, because everybody's all dressed up, it looks pretty sick, and uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. Maybe we'll get some shots of strangers. So as finding composition is really difficult, and framing. Uh, what I tend to turn to when it is like this difficult, this busy, is I turn to reflections. So with reflections, you know that you're gonna get like a, a decent shot regardless. Down that way is probably where there's the most light. The other way, this way, this way down here, there's not that much light, but the other way, there's a ton more light. So I'm thinking with the 85, I should be able to be punched in enough to get the lights and then somebody in the foreground, hopefully. So we'll see how we go. So it is mega punchy and obviously with like uh, reflections, typically what you want is like a wider lens, unless the subject's like mega far away. I think what I want to do is I actually want to just get the reflection. Uh, does that kind of work? For this puddle alone, I think that's going to be the, uh, the best shot that we're going to get. Okay, so walking down the riverfront here, you've got this amazing pink neon light. And because obviously it's rained, you have this here, which is the reflection on this table. So I'm thinking somebody walking towards me there. Get this like this. Get somebody in frame. Does that work? Kind of works. Okay, so I've just taken a, uh, a step away from like the busyness because it was... Uh, a bit too crowded to get any compositions and i'm thinking later on it might die down a little bit i might be wrong but i would assume as the the night goes on it'll get a bit quieter so i've come on to some of the other streets which <laughs> look incredible okay so i'm searching kind of like the back streets to to get some different shots see if i can get some more artistic photos um, there's a door just down the end here with somebody just kind of in it it's a little bit annoying that it's not quite there's like a thing in the middle of it, it doesn't quite work well that might have worked because i believe she looked at me as i took the shot these streets are much quieter uh, probably more suited to trying to frame shots so vending machine down the end just waited for people to go through the frame 
It's a good frame, so I'm going to wait actually to try and get somebody maybe on the right hand side. Like that dude, did that work? Now that it's a little bit quieter on these back streets, trying to, to get more of like... Kind of like atmospheric shots to kind of show the scene, show the environment, show kind of like what's going on around me rather than the people. Does that make sense? Telling a story without showing the, the people themselves. Maybe a shot here might look good because you've got kind of neon signs on the other side. So if I come to the left hand side. Pick somebody out of the frame. This dude. Mm. Kind of worked, one of them worked for sure. Now I'm gonna go straight through here onto another quieter street and then I'm probably gonna take a right at some point. Mm. We've got a nice reflection here and I think because it is a quieter street I might be able to to get somebody a bit further down. So I'm gonna use the uh, advantage of the flip screen Come back until around there. I think actually I'm going to try and just shoot directly in the puddle itself rather than try and get a reflection both top and bottom. Autofocus never really likes it. So if, it, if autofocus does well through the puddle, you know the autofocus is good. And to be honest, the shot that I just got kind of, I think I'm happy with that. But I think if I go the other way, now if I had my 12 mil, this would look incredible because you'd have the archway in the future. See if we can get one of this lady going through the frame. Is there somewhere I can kind of go right here? Because I don't want to go onto the main road, but it doesn't look like there is. With 85, because it's so punched in, it becomes almost a, a hindrance when you're this close to subjects. Um, and it becomes difficult to be able to, to get the frame, get the shot you're trying to get. But that's why I like it. That's why I like using 85 for street photography because it, it pushes you, it tests you, it makes you rethink kind of framing and composition. These two dudes going down. I feel like we're going to have to get a, an obligatory taxi shot. Kind of have to, I mean I'll probably get more as we go on and focus through the the screen and we'll get one in portrait as well now when shooting night photography i mean if you guys have already watched some of my videos you already know this or if you've ever shot any night stuff then you're you will already know this but when you're shooting night photography you want to try and keep your iso as low as possible so the reason f1.4 is good is not only does it give you nice separation and crisp shots but it helps with opening up that aperture, letting in more natural light, giving you more light to the image uh, natively rather than having to use ISO, which is obviously fake light, and then that creates the noise. This is a beautiful street. So I think if I come over on the right hand side here, I think landscape with these colors, we're gonna throw it into wide focus area and let it kind of let the lens and let the camera decide where the focus is. I think if we go a bit tighter, we might get a little bit of a reflection. Now, I don't normally do this, but if I shoot upside down, this sounds stupid, but if I shoot upside down, what that's allowing me to do is get me that much closer to the wall. So I'm going to be able to get a little bit closer to the wall, get more of an even balance reflection, and then that's going to allow me to get a more even balanced shot. So again, not something that you typically do shooting upside down because well, that's not what you're supposed to do. I can just flip it in post as you've seen, but it allowed me to get that much closer to the wall to give me just a little bit of something extra.
Okay, really cool frame composition here. I think if we can kind of just go directly opposite. Wait for somebody to go through the frame. I'm actually going to lock focus. I'm going to put it in manual focus. Put focus on the dude. That way when people go through the frame, the focus stays on the subject that I want rather than pulling focus from people walking past. Now, what I'm looking for at the moment is that shot there, which is pretty sick. I will take that. Again, manual focus because when you've got a bit of time to play with, why not? try and capture moments as they're happening so in here we're going to pull focus because this is a nice shot in here there's a what appears to be like a like a dad and a son having a, like a nice meal and they're both laughing i think it's a nice just noted noticed it through the window and i'm going to have them just on the left hand side of the frame okay so just walking down the street Dude on the right hand side of the frame back in autofocus now so again gonna leave the camera and the lens do its thing and i don't have to worry about um people walking in and out of frame because it's so empty and, and open and it should all kind of gel together nicely so there's a nice simple shot here of a reflection of that led neon sign through the uh the puddle so i'm gonna go manual focus i'm gonna pull focus through the puddle, very simplistic shot. Person walking through the frame at the same time, maybe add something to it. And I'm also gonna pull it out of focus and focus kind of on the edge of the, uh, the reflection. Again, very simplistic, very simple, but I think it looks good nonetheless. The photos that you take when you're out and about, they don't have to be every single one like award-winning sometimes people are led to believe that's kind of like the way it goes but it's not i think we could probably get another taxi driver shot here this dude because he's stuck in traffic we're going to go center focus across here because it's too busy but that is a crazy, look at that crazy structure. It's insane. That's impressive. But maybe I can get like the rear of a taxi or something. Dude on the moped. Oh, with the neon lights, that looks nice. Lit up a cigarette at the same time. He just knew. He was like, this is my time. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna be the same as I was kind of in London, just walking down the side of this road. See if I get shouted out. I doubt I will. I mean, people are pretty much open here. But we'll just kind of stroll down the side till I get told off. Cuban, okay, is that always nearly? Jeez. Dude staring straight at me. Get a photo of you. Um, I think this looks pretty good. Going past the frame with the neon lights. It'd be nice if there was like a like a typical Japanese car. It would look pretty sick. Yeah, you're in a Prius, mate. Sorry. No offense to anybody that drives a Prius, but not quite the Japanese car that I was after. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe when the traffic lights up here go red for the cars, people walking in front of the cars might look quite nice. Uh, Toyota going through the frame, but I don't think I'm gonna get anything decent of it. Maybe, possibly. Okay, this dude here with like the lantern on the left hand side. I think 
as he comes off his phone and looks up, it's going to look pretty good. Okay, and then we're going to get a shot of him riding away as well. Ah, the gift that keeps on giving to the random dude cycling down the road. Hmm. Okay, so earlier when I was talking about like walking down these streets and then looking in these windows, this is definitely one that might work. Nice. Okay, so we've just, uh, there's a bunch of neon signs down there, but there's a, a bunch of guys just chilling here at this uh, bar just here, which is pretty sick. Good vibes. And what about down this way? Okay, there's a taxi coming straight down towards me. And it's also starting to rain <laughs> quite heavily. Oh my god, where's that come from? I don't know how long it's gonna last, but might uh, get some people to put their umbrellas up, which will obviously. Uh, help with content for sure. See people walking towards me with umbrellas. Looks pretty sick. Mm. Oh, it is like hammering it down now. Let me get one of this dude. Mm, I'm gonna follow this couple with their umbrellas because I might actually have to go and get my own because it's Pretty hectic. Pull the dude. Oh, <laughs> it's so rainy. Uh, do I go and get an umbrella myself? Nah, I'll be all right. Fuck it. Be fine. We will be fine. This dude, absolute boss. Been waiting for the uh, good old rain to start all evening. It can cope with rain and and wetness because I've just wiped my uh, I've just wiped my lens. It's actually made a bit of like a a dreamy vibe on it. It's almost like I've got a mist filter on there. which is a nice free mist filter. I'm sure you're getting the same treatment on the GoPro. I think I'll get them going the other way. Mm. Maybe landscape probably looks a lot better. And thankfully, it was just a shower and it is stopping. But it was a good way to start the closing out of this video where I'm wiping the lens. Sorry, is that better? Can you see better now? Sorry about that. Um, where We've had a bit of everything throughout the whole video. Oh, it's definitely uh, not stopping anytime soon. And any person in their right mind would go and get an umbrella. But for some reason, Sam is deciding not to. This dude winning at life with his setup. This little detail shot. Oh, I can always, I already know what preset I'm going to use on that. Good Sony lover, slap that on there, bam. So I'm just taking refuge under this kind of shelter for now. And I'm just gonna get some shots while I am just kind of standing here. I want a clear umbrella. What about the back end of this taxi? Money. Mint. 
Get a bit closer. Ah, missed the shot. Missed, missed the hero shot of the girl getting out of the car, but still got the shot of the, the taxi in this madness of rain. Flip the screen out. Okay, right. It's uh, chucking it down now. This rain is actually nuts. This is exactly what I wanted. And just to finish off the video as well, is just, just a gold mine. I do want to move though, because I want to get different, different scenarios. Obviously I don't want the same shot. So I'm going to make a little bit of a run for it. I don't mind if I get wet, it's just the gear. GoPro is sweet, it's fine, it can get wet. There's a girl walking towards me. I think, use this as a leading line. Hammering it down. Get this dude. Eesh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take five before I get absolutely drenched. So you can kind of treat this footage as, as an example of the wetness. I mean, I'm, I'm literally, I've got no jacket on, no waterproofs, literally just me, myself, and a hoodie and some cargo trousers just getting the most wet I possibly could be <laughs> in this given moment for the sake of this content. And, oh, that just stepped it up a notch. I'm actually looking for like a 7-Eleven, a Lawson, or a Family Mart. Family Mart, Family Market, whatever it's called. Just so I can get an umbrella because I think I could possibly stay out for a lot longer if I had an umbrella. Because my main concern is although the, uh, the Sony is weather sealed, yeah, you never want to push it too much. There's always a, a limit to what it can take. And at the moment, it's the only camera I've got, so I don't want to fuck it up. There's somebody up here, going to give it a run in front of a... No, don't move! Ah, he moved! <laughs> there was someone in front of a vending machine who looked sick with the umbrella and everything. But it's uh, moist, but we can, we can prevail. We can keep getting some shots, for sure. Um, that dude... Maybe the headlights. Because I want, I want you guys to see <laughs> in the photos how much is raining. What about this shot here? That's nice. That's a good shot. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving down. Ah, oh, moistness. <laughs> oh, the thing is, I think as photographers, once you get like wet. It's that, that, like whatever. You just you don't really care about the the wetness anymore. You just give a fuck about your gear, and I think that's kind of true for for all of us. Because once you're committed, you're committed, right? That's, there's no <laughs> you got nothing else to lose. Taxi coming towards me in the in the rain. Move out of his way, and also get some shelter at the same time. Maybe we can get the rear end if we're lucky. Kind of worked. Oh, seems to be letting up a little bit. I mean. I mean, isn't this, isn't this what we enjoy? Isn't this just like, isn't this like the best? I don't know if it's just me, maybe I'm weird. Maybe I'm strange, but I, th I think this right now, this conditions, I love it. Yes, I'm soaking wet. It's not cold out, so it's fine. My gear is fine. I'm a little bit moist. I could have done with an umbrella. I didn't use an umbrella. I'm paying for that. Do I care? No, because I'm out creating content doing what I love in an amazing city 
an amazing place. Subscribe, notification bell, all of that stuff. Now, if you want a little tip on how to keep your gear dry in those conditions, um, you can just use a plastic bag. Go to any shop, ask for a plastic bag, pay a little fee if you have to, and just put a little hole at the end, push your lens through, and there you have it. You have a nice, free, waterproof bag that's gonna keep your gear relatively nice and dry. Now, if you do like any of the photos, you like the presets, whatever, down in the description, currently on sale for like another three or four days, so if you want a good price, down in the description. If you're watching this after three or four days, then sorry, it's back to normal price. Before we have a look at the hashtag optical wand, I just wanna say in today's video, there was no settings put for the uh, for the video. And that is because on some videos I'm gonna do it and some I'm not. Because in the video, for most of the time, you can actually see on the back of the screen what I'm shooting at. And all you have to do is just 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 look. Just look at what I'm shooting. And it saves me writing it out again. It's, it's like putting it on the screen twice. Some of the shots you can't see, but to be honest, mostly I shoot in manual and you have to adjust for the lighting anyway. So even if you did see the shot and the, the settings, it doesn't really help you because your lighting is gonna be different to my lighting. Anyway, presets, description, uh, merch, hoodies, down in the description, and uh, this lens also down in the description. Hashtag optical wonder, let's go. So the hashtag is up to 558,000 posts, which is incredible. Hoping to get to a million posts on this hashtag by this time next year. So in a year's time which I think is doable. I think it's possible. Hopefully, if it's not, then we, uh, we we failed. But we're not gonna fail. We're gonna get there. So post more on the hashtag so more people can see it. Okay, this one here caught my eye straight away, which is really lovely. Love the uh, the colors and love the like kind of film vibe in it. Just making sure this isn't overblown, like so. And I like this one here. Really love the colors. And this one as well, which is really nice from Timothy JPEG. Um, I love, oh, that's sick. It's really creative. I like what you've done there. Um, do, 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 do. We're only going to do a few because it's already been a very long video. This one here, I love the, uh, the swipe through for the landscape shot. I do like that on Instagram. And we'll do, let's go with so many good shots. We'll go with do, 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 do. I like the, the, the star on this. I don't know how you've done that. Have you done it in, uh, in Photoshop or was it a filter that you used on the camera? Because uh, I do actually have one that kind of does the similar thing. It creates like an anamorphic effect. Don't know if it's the same thing. Maybe it is, maybe not. Let me know in the comments. Now uh, we'll do two more. We'll do this one here, which is a very simple shot, but I love that green and pink vibe of the forecourt and this simplistic black and white shot from Smithy Shots. Now, if you do want to get featured, use the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram and uh, you just throw it in your caption when you're posting and uh, it'll appear on there. With all that being said, create more, stress less, enjoy, go and have fun, and I'll see you maybe tomorrow?